Let's carry on now uh, looking at acids. We're going to uh, define strong acids and weak acids. Then we'll look at strong acids, what makes a strong acid, how to calculate the pH of a strong acid. And then uh, after that next tutorial, I'll go into weak acids. So let's have a think about uh, strong acids and weak acids. Uh, now, a strong acid is a substance which, uh, when it's put in solution, breaks up 100% of the time into H plus ions and uh, the other ion, the other anion which is present. Whereas a weak acid uh, doesn't do that all of the time. It's anywhere between the 100% which uh, strong acids do and the uh, very small percent that water breaks apart into H plus and OH minus ions and that would be uh, a weak acid. Generally we'd say that a strong acid uh, whilst that uh, breaks apart 100% of the time um, a weak acid maybe 1% of the time maybe 0.1 maybe 3% it's a sort of small percentage of the time that that would break apart. Uh, on the pH scale, uh, if we have one mole per decimeter cube solutions, a strong acid will have a pH of zero. Water or neutral ions will have pHs of seven and strong base 14. A weak acid will be between zero and seven. So that concludes defining strong acids and weak acids. Uh, now we're going to talk more about strong acids, uh, what makes a strong acid, and then how to calculate the pH of a strong acid. Defining and identifying strong acids, I'm just going to name three because there, these are really the only ones which are important and you need to know. So we can have nitric acid, which is made up of H plus ions and NO3 minus ions, sulfuric acid with H plus ions and HSO4 minus ions, hydrochloric acid with H plus and Cl minus ions. So we write them as HNO3, H2SO4, HCl, but they are fully dissociated into these ions in solution. Okay, so if you're going to have a strong acid then this must have a stabilized anion. If we think of those examples of the uh, strong acids I've just talked about where we have NO3 minus HSO4 minus or Cl minus, those oxygens in there, well that chlorine, they're all electronegative so they can stabilize that negative charge and that's why these particular atoms behave as acids. Combined with that uh, we sometimes need to look at a uh, bond strength because actually if you were to compare HO minus with Cl minus we know that HO minus will react with H plus to give you water that would just be an acid base reaction but HCl is a strong acid so Cl minus doesn't react with H plus to give you HCl in solution whereas the electronegativity of oxygen and chlorine are quite similar here so the reason for this is uh, not to do with electronegativity, it's to, to do with the bond strength. And if we've got long, weak bonds, then they will tend to break apart. And you see this uh, going down group 7, you have this increasing acidity as the uh, hydrogen halide bond becomes longer and weaker and therefore can break more easily into those ions. So uh, looking at strong acids here, that occurs when we have uh, groups which are stabilised more than the hydroxide ion. Whereas if we've got uh, other anions here which uh, are not so stabilised, H2N, HS, CH3, there's not enough electronegative elements in here, then they will react with H+, and uh, they are not acids. Okay, uh, so that was sort of uh, defining strong acids, weak acids, and then what makes a strong acid. Now let's go on to say how to calculate the pH of a strong acid. So calculating uh, pH of strong acids, uh, essentially we say that the H plus concentration is the same as the acid concentration and then work out the pH by doing minus log off of that acid concentration. So if we have one mole per decimeter cubed HNO3 we'd say the H plus concentration is one mole per decimeter cubed therefore the pH is minus log of one which is zero. Uh, if we have 0.01 mole per decimeter cubed HCl, we'd say the H plus concentration is 0.01 because all of that HCl is broken apart to form H plus ions and Cl minus ions. And the pH is minus log of 0.01, which is 2. So if we're looking on our pH scale, if we've got a uh, 1 mole per decimeter cubed solution of a strong acid, its pH will be 0. If we have a 0.01 mole per decimeter cubed solution of a uh, strong acid, its pH won't be uh, quite so low, 
because it's not so concentrated. So we need the concentration of the acid to work out the pH, but then all you do is do minus log of it, and that will give you your pH. So we've covered uh, quite a lot here. Let's uh, have a quick review of what we've done. Strong acids and weak acids. To find uh, strong acids as species which uh, form H plus and A minus ions all the time. Weak acids where that occurs some of the time, and uh, but more than water where we know that happens a very small amount of the time. We then asked uh, why are some compounds acidic? Why does this happen? And it happens because you have uh, the A minus part, that anion is stabilized, that negative charge is stabilized, more than the OH minus is stabilized. And then uh, finally we uh, did the calculation of the pH of strong acids, where we say the H plus concentration is the acid concentration and pH is minus log of that H plus concentration. So that's a quite straightforward calculation. Okay, so that's the first part of acids, defining strong acids, weak acids, talking about strong acids. Uh, and next we're going to go on to weak acids.